Hi, welcome all of you on Europedia and my this video is a comparative video though I don't think comparison can be done in many things but this is a comparative video between uh, PhD opportunities abroad and uh, PSU jobs. Now why I am making this video there is a reason for that. Of late uh, many of my students who earlier have gone to public sector companies and they are working in Maharatna, Navratna, Mini Ratna companies and really good companies. They are approaching us and they are asking for you know opportunities. They are asking that they want to explore the opportunities uh, abroad and they want to go for PhD abroad. Now why I am talking about PhD abroad and not MS abroad because uh, most of the students who are approaching me they are actually already masters. They have already done masters. You know that when you go to PSU jobs in India, so already four five years lag jate hain. So competitive jobs and PSU ki job lene me tumhe three four years lagte hain. Tab tak students M Tech, MS wagera kar lete hain and then they land up in PSU jobs. Think of a student who after M Tech or MS from IIT Madras is working now in HPCL or IUCL and now after three four years he is thinking that I want to go for PhD abroad. Now what are those reasons and why it is there? Now, uh, you know, uh, for the last 10 years, I've sent so many students uh, in PSUs abroad also. I can make a comparison here and then what I realize is like uh, typically a student who is a person who starts his career in PSU, then the kind of growth he gets in PSU is uh, in terms of money or in terms of job shifting is less. But uh, if you go abroad, then you invest your three, four years after masters into a PhD and after that you tend to get a good opportunity and obviously because it is international opportunity. So you tend to shift the jobs, multinational companies from one continent to another continent. So that kind of glamorous profile is something which is visible. So uh, if I even make a comparison while doing PhD, then you know, typically what you have seen on thumbnail that is true. Typically, you know, you, you may get $3,000 scholarship in uh, US uh, good university. This is what a scholarship you can think of getting from the university and maybe you can earn a little bit here and there through uh, assistantship and all. So assume it $3,000. In that you tend to save $1,500 because your expenditure is not more than $1,500. So 1500 and as you know, the dollar rate is 82, 83 rupees as of now. So if you multiply that, you tend to save more than 1 lakh rupees. But you do not get salary here 1 lakh rupee uh, in the PSU jobs. So that becomes a sort of comparison. Uh, with the students that is what they do they compare their friends I mean some some friends have gone for PhD abroad and we are doing in PSU after that typically once you complete your PhD three four years then typically you start getting 7k to 10k as uh, you know your salary that is after PhD you know PhD graduate typically get 7,000 to 8,000 dollar per month and obviously your expenditure can be almost same maybe it is a 2,000 dollars obviously tax is also there which is not on this so some tax is also there on this but you tend to you know save three to four thousand dollars so you understand that is a huge actually immediately after phd the quality of life which you can enjoy that also is compared normally by students now why i'm telling you all this i'm not telling you all this that you leave psu leave india and go to those this is not my purpose my purpose here is like uh, in india as you know competition is very high number of seats may be less so if in, in case you have already done your masters or your academic background is good, you are from very good college and your credentials are good, you are a graduate and uh, you are thinking of preparing for PSU or both the things are equal in your mind, let me tell you, this is far easier to get than this. Why? Because a lot of competition here because obviously uh, students do not explore much opportunities. Though even if they are good, so uh, they do not explore. And second is, Hamar pas role model nahi hai. I mean, it's your PDA is the only platform I think which is motivating people to go abroad and do PhD because opportunities are there, professors are waiting, universities are there. I think your PDA is the only platform. Baki aapke pas role model nahi hai. PSUs ke bar mein motivate karne ke liye, obviously 80% of the students are rooted through your PDA only for the final selection in PSU. But PSU ke liye motivate karne ke liye boho jada log hain. They keep on telling you to go for PSU. But PhD abroad ke liye information kam hai and people don't motivate. So that is one of the reasons like uh, even if the opportunities are good, students do not explore that. In case you have idea, 
इन केस यू हैव इंक्लिनेशन के मेरे को जाके वहाँ पे पैसा कमाना है और मेरे को वहाँ जाके अच्छी क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ या मेरे को वहाँ पे रिसर्च करना है दैट इज देयर इन योर माइंड गेट इन टच विद द मेंटर्स ऑफ योर पीडिया मेंटर्स मीन्स दोज वर सिटिंग देयर एंड दोज वर डूइंग द सेम थिंग बिकॉज दे कैन टेल यू रियलिस्टिक थिंग्स सो गेट इन टच विद दैम एवरी वीक लाइव सेशन आर देयर ऑन योर पीडिया ग्लोबल फॉर दीज मेंटर्स आप उनके साथ मिलो एंड मे बी यू गेट बेटर आइडिया एंड मे बी यू गेट मैनी थिंग्स विच यू मे नॉट बी नोइंग एज ऑफ नाउ तो अगर आपका इंक्लिनेशन है उनसे बात करो एक बार एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रोसेस एज सुन एज पॉसिबल नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री मंथस आर वेरी क्रूशियल बिकॉज बहुत सी अपॉर्चुनिटीज इसमें आने वाली हैं होप आई मेड माई पॉइंट क्लियर फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ क्लैरिफिकेशन यू कैन गेट बैक टू अस थैंक यू 